Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Belovsky and Stan that was played in Lucerne in 1982. Where is Lucerne? It is a city in Switzerland. White started with e4. Black played c5, so we have a Sicilian defense. Knight to f3. d6. d4. Pawn takes pawn. Knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, attacking pawn on e4. Knight to c3, defending. a6. So we have Sicilian Nidorf. Bishop to g5, let's go back. Bishop to e3 is the most popular move. Nothing wrong with bishop to g5 though. e6, f4, and now queen to b6. Queen is attacking pawn on b2. And this is known as poisoned pawn variation. And what should why do now? Pawn is under attack. How would you continue? Well, knight to b3 is one of the moves that could be played. Another one is queen to d3, less popular though. Rook to b1 is the least popular. The most popular move is queen to d2. And that is the move played in our game. So white allowed black to capture pawn on b2. Now rook to b1 is playable. White played knight to b3. Knight from b to d7. Bishop to d3. White is mobilizing all his army. b5. White castled. And let's have a good look at his position. White has developed all his pieces for the sake of one pawn. And what black has? Well, black is behind in development, but he is better materially. One pawn. But if he exchanges all the pieces, he is going to win in the end game. Hmm. So white is hoping to finish him off before end game comes. Knight to c5. So black wants to exchange all the pieces as soon as possible. But let's go back. Better move instead was b4. Attacking a knight, so white would have to play knight to d1. Okay, but you can understand he wants to exchange all the pieces, so he played knight to c5. Knight takes knight. Pawn takes on c5. And now white Captured knight on f6, doubling black's pawns. Rook from a to b1. Queen to a3. It is white to move. Black is not standing that bad, is he? What do you think? Actually, wh white is worse off in all variations except one. But unlucky for black, Belovsky found that variation in which white wins immediately. If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the killer move that white played in this position. Are you ready? The move is knight takes on b5, attacking queen, and knight is threatening to jump to c7 with check, attacking rook. And how did black respond? Well, black did not respond at all. He resigned. Hmm. So we would have to. We want to know why black resigned. Could he defend? Okay, let's check this variation. This is the most obvious one. Pawn takes knight. Is that right? What else? 
Then bishop takes on b5. This is check. King to e7. Rook from f to d1. And there is really no defense against queen coming to d8 or d6. To prolong the game, black could play funny move like this, but this really doesn't work. So in this position then, black made a good decision. He resigned. What a game! So let's go back to this position. If you want to capture poison pawn, think not only twice, but three times. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.